<sighs> Disclaimer, Pokemon is owned by Pokemon Company International, Showpro, Tatoshi, Satoshi Tajiri, Game Freak, Nintendo, OLM, and others. Please support the official release. I do not own, nor do I make Pokemon. They are all owned by Showpro. This is me disclaiming it. To avoid copyright issues, I will be using images and screenshots. Thank you. Hey everybody, Samurai here. Back again with another video. Today I'm ranking Ash's Hoenn Pokemon. Now Ash's Hoenn Pokemon are pretty loved by the community. I don't think there have been any like this Pokemon sucks or this Pokemon is better than all the others. They're all pretty equally liked. So let's get started with his Swellow. Now the Swellow has had a huge returns in the community. Me personally, it doesn't do that much for me. It's definitely a B ranked Pokemon, but I still like Swellow enough. I think it has a great personality. Other than that, Thunder Armor bullshit it tried to pull. But you know, I think it has a great personality. It definitely was sassy, not to mention it had some pretty good battles like against Winona and in the league where it caught a Don Fan with his legs, so you know, that was great. Anyways, let's move on to Sceptile. Now, an interesting thing about Sceptile is it didn't evolve during the Hoenn Saga, it evolved during the Battle Frontier, which a lot of people prefer over Hoenn, which I don't blame you for, the Battle Frontier could like, it's what elevates Hoenn as high as it is. But yeah, Sceptile definitely had some major wins, not to mention he kept the stick in his mouth like a boss. Like an utter boss. Not to mention defeated a Darkrai, helped out with the Battle Frontier against Spencer. It was definitely a great asset to Ash's team, and I think we all liked watching it battle. One thing I will like to add is I think it had three grass type moves, which was Solar Beam, Leaf Blade, and Bullet Seed, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong, I just don't know. Anyways, let's move on to Corpfish. Corpfish is one of my favorite Ash Pokemon, and it's so underrated. Corpfish held Ash against the Battle Frontier and in the league, not to mention, it was just fun to watch in general. Ash caught it, and it, man, I love Corpfish. It has like one of the best personalities that we see in a Pokemon. It's always fun to watch and see it do stuff with other Pokemon, just seeing it interact. Not to mention, we saw it, I think we did actually see it in the uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon special where they went to Kanto, which I thought was many feet, so you know, I'm not complaining. Uh, next up we have Torkoal. This is the most overhated Ash Pokemon I've ever seen. Torkoal isn't even that bad, okay? Sure, it loses some battle, but at least it tries, okay? Unpleasant or unpleasant as the community was going to call it now, unpleasant lost to Riolu, a baby Pokemon. Torkoal lost to Registeel. I think we know which one is better. Not to mention its personality was golden. It had one of the most noble personalities I've ever seen. It went into the water as a fire type that couldn't swim and would probably die. Just to look for a Spoink Pearl, which I thought was pretty nice. Not to mention it was adorable to see it cry all the time. It was just like, you know, you always rooted for it. It was the underdog, which I always liked seeing. Now we come to my favorite member of Ash's whole team, Glalie. Glalie is so underrated, it's not even funny. Glalie carried the lead. You thought I would say Swellow carried the lead. Nope, it was Glalie. All Glalie carried the lead. I bet his shoulders were tired by the end of Hoenn because he's been carrying the league. That's why he didn't go to the battle frontier. And it was a dang shame that we didn't see him in the Sinnoh League too because they brought him back for the Sinnoh League. Which I thought, oh snap, they're bringing back my boy Glilly for the Sinnoh League. This is going to be great. I can't wait to see him go against Conway. But no, no, he didn't use Burnley. Well, I'm not like distraught over it. I wish we did get to see Glalie because it's one of those Ash Pokemon that are very unique and with the way it moves. It uses headbutt tactics. Not to mention, it beat two fire types. Two fire types. But no, we all remember Sceptile for a uh, Battle Frontier victory. Glalie defeated two fire types with an ice type Zen headbutt. Zen headbutt is a psychic type move. I know it's a psychic type move. I just say ice type as it was an ice type. Not to mention, it's personality, it's just fun, I love how it just will freeze Ash and it's just like still happy-go-lucky even from uh, what you call it, Snow Run to a Glady. I thought that was really nice, not to mention the way it evolved by mastering Ice Speed, which I thought was the perfect cherry on top. It was definitely a unique member to add. 
fascist team. Like, we don't usually, like, see that many unique members. Like, another unique member I could possibly say would be, like, Papa Toad or even, like, Levani from Black and White. But even those guys are, like, again, they weren't, they were the only really creative ones that I've seen. Even Corpfish can be doubted as a creative choice. Well, Glalie is definitely one of the Pokemon they had to, like, you know, animate around but I guess it was pretty easy to animate considering it's just a face ramming into shit but yeah I like Glalie so my overall rating of these Pokemon is that Swellow gets a B tier Sceptile gets an A tier Corphish gets also an A tier Torkoal gets a B tier and Glalie gets an A tier so overall this team is actually pretty nice it has great chemistry in my opinion too. That's definitely one thing I wanted to add to this team. It's something I didn't say about the other teams because they didn't really have double battles. Well in Gen 3, double battles were the mainstay. And we actually got to see some Pokemon in double battles. Specifically Corpfish and Swellow and Pikachu and Swellow. Pikachu and Swellow use the Thunder Armor bullshit, play the clip. You know the clip I always use. And Corpfish and Swellow actually help defeat Huh? Enemy logic! The battle frontier against, uh, ah shit, I'm like, his name is escaping me at the moment because I'm writing this unscripted. Tucker, Tucker. They beat Tucker in the battle frontier, which I thought was amazing to see. So, yeah. In conclusion, I think the whole team is pretty nice. I definitely think there's a lot of underrated mods in this team. Probably because Hoenn as a series is underrated. Well, it's not one of my favorites. I think this team definitely deserves your attention. And this is my ranking on the Hoenn Pokemon team. Okay, anybody, with that said, Samurai sounding out. Okay, quick update. So, from what I've heard, ShowPro has been taking down a lot of videos. They've taken down Zach's video, send him your support, his channel, like his second channel link along with his main channel link, will either be in the iCard or description. Um, send them your support, definitely. Um, yeah, but it's crazy what ShowPro is doing. I wanted to put it at the end of this video, then rather make a whole separate video about it. But I'll probably put it at the end of my update video, just so, like, you know, I'll talk about it more there. But yeah, ShowPro has been going absolutely nuts, so that's the reason for the, the disclaimer anyways. Samurai out, sorry to end this video on a somber note, but Samurai out. The update video will be out next week, explaining what I'm going to be for the next four weeks. I actually for real this time, Samurai out.